Hi, Mohammed from Roboflow here. So I'm here to show you how to clone images from Roboflow Universe into your project without having to download the data set. So there are over 100 million images available on Roboflow Universe, over 110,000 data sets, and over 10,000 pre-trained models. Project types of object detection, classification, instance segmentation, semantic segmentation, or in some cases, there are some that use the key point annotation hack uh, with the object detection projects and to add images that could also be used for key point detection. Anyways, when we're looking within here, what we'll find is that maybe I have a project where I want to count money, but not just of the currency of my own country, but a bunch of other countries, but I don't have access to those currencies. You could search on Roboflow Universe for those currencies and then copy them into your project. Or let's say I'm making a face detection model to show off to my class and it's working well on my face, but mm, kind of performing so-so on other faces. Well, I could come in to this face detection project and clone the images from it. So let's just do this as an example. So you could download the full data set, you can try the pre-trained model, or you can come over here. I'm gonna click over here into the images to look at the actual data set. So I'm browsing them. So you see that I can select all of them, or I can just select, um, you know, a chosen few. Let's say I want this image, this image. And you, you saw how when I clicked on the image, it just actually went into viewing it. So when you're wanting to select individual images, you'll want to uh, select directly within the checkbox here. So you can select individual images, it's multiple pages of data sets, or let's say there are multiple classes within the data set and I wanted to just find images with a specific class, I could also filter to that class. Or let's say, say I want to select all of them. So I can clone the 50 selected images here. And then the next step from cloning them to my project is going down here and choosing the destination. I'm in a bunch of workspaces, so I have to be careful and choose the correct workspace. Um, let's just throw this into a test workspace I created earlier. And that test workspace is, sorry about this, trying to find this. It's the other problem with having so many projects. All right, so I have my Mohammed Traore workspace. And when I go from there, I have this clone universe project. And I'm gonna select that project to upload the images to. So I can import both images and annotations if I want the labels. Or if I don't want the labels, and maybe I was just grabbing these for background or null images that I didn't want annotated, but to help my model generalize better for just what I wanted it to detect rather than what I didn't want it to detect. Or maybe I just want to relabel the data set completely. You could do import raw images in that case. And then there's also similar projects listed down here if you then want to go find other projects to grab more out of. And then I'll click finish cloning images. Just remember, if you're doing research or anything like that on a project, on every single overview page or readme on a project, there is a citation at the bottom. So you can go ahead and grab that citation for data sets that you do use. So my 50 cloned images are successfully within my workspace and in the Clone Universe Images project. So now I can either clone more images or I can go to the cloned images within the project. So when I go ahead and take a quick look at this after everything loads, What I find is all of these images within an actual annotation batch called clone on, and then the date, and then the project name here, and then the workspace ID here. So what you'll see is this job was created when the images were cloned from another, you know, and then the workspace name and the project name. So that way you know where it actually came from. Because on Roboflow Universe, if you click the name of the workspace uh, on an actual project, it'll take you to all of the public projects within that public workspace. So all of the images were already annotated, already have the annotations on them. I can change the batch name if I'd like here by renaming it and saving the name. Click X here, and you see that I have all those images from the data set. I can click generate a new version up top, as you saw there, or I can just go to data set search and look at it. Look at the classes and the images in here again. I can also view the images by title here, as you can also do on Universe. You can see the total number of annotations and the classes for each of the annotations here to start. And 
from there, you can go ahead and generate your data set. And I'm already well on my way to creating a computer vision model without even annotating a single image yet.